Hey guys, Anders here. I'm here to show you how to take TF2 demos and turn them into SFM animations. It's a really powerful tool, and you can use it with both POV and STV demos. So, without further ado, let me show you how it works. First thing you're going to want to do is download HLAE from their GitHub page, right here, and will be in the comment section. Uh, once you have that downloaded, you're going to want to make sure to open that up and head down to the executable. Once you have this open, go to the Tools dropdown, hit Developer, and then Custom Loader. Make sure to find the drop the path right here for your TF2 and take the command line from that's both on the screen right now and in the description. Last but not least, before you start, you're going to want to head to AFX Hook Source and drag and drop that into this big white box right here. Once, once all of that's done, hit OK and TF2 should open. All right, now that you have TF2 open, just to make sure that this all works, you're going to want to type MRV underscore, and you'll see a bunch of drop downs that will show you that you've input HLE correctly into TF2. Remember that this was just injected. This is technically a hack. Even though you're in insecure mode, make sure to not join any VAC secure servers. All right. Now, before we can actually start recording our cinematics, we're going to want to make sure and head to our config so we can input something that's pretty important to make this all work together. You'll need two different files, your output agr.cfg and your ragdolls.cfg. I'll show you what those look like in a second, and I'll have them both in the description below as well. This is your ragdolls.cfg. And here is your output agr.cfg. All right, once you have those both in your auto exec and you're ready to start the game and record your cinematics, one last thing you're going to want to make sure you do is type MRV, sorry, AGR enabled one. Otherwise, this entire process will not work. Finally, you're going to want to play your demo. All right, now you have your demo open, open up the demo UI, and we're gonna find the points that we want to start and stop the cinematic at. Now for me, I'd like to start my cinematic right here. Perhaps some kind of player intro. And because he looks at the soldier very fast when he turns around. At the very end, I'd like to include this taunt, so I'm probably going to be stopping this at around 19,500. Alright, now that we have that done, let's open up the demo editor, and I'll show you a couple commands that you can put in so you can start recording cinematics for SFM. To start off, you're going to want to hit New, and then go to Play Commands. Then we're going to name this one Start. Uh, on start on, we'll use time use tick, and we're going to start this at where we want this to start. I'm going to say 18,600 for me. For you, it will be different. And here, you're going to want to put exec ragdolls.cfg and exec output agr.cfg. And you're going to want to hit OK. Now that we have our first thing in here, we want to put the end of the recording commands, which I'll have both in description and on the screen here as well, and put that as our end command. We're going to start new, create new play command. We'll name this one end, and we're going to use time use tick, and I said roughly 19,500. And we're going to copy and paste that right here. All right, now that we have that here, we're going to hit OK, hit OK again. And we're going to go back a little bit before where our cinematic is supposed to start. So I'm going to start at roughly 18,300. All right. Now that we're ready, we're going to start, we're going to press resume. And uh, as soon as the recording starts, you're going to see a couple of changes in game speed as the HLE actually starts recording. And theoretically, it will stop once this ends as well, and go back to a normal game speed. All right, now that we've done, now that we know we've done everything correctly, we're going to hit pause, exit out of here, and we're going to exit out of TF2. Now to make sure that we've done this correctly, we're going to open up our Team Fortress 2 folder right here, 
and we're going to see that we have an output AGR right here in our Team Fortress 2 folder. We're going to name it, rename it to something so we can remember what it is. So this is Lex Airshot and hit enter. Now that we have our AGR file, we're ready to put this in SFM. All right, first things first, we're going to want to exit out of here and here. And we're going to head to a second link in the description, which is a couple of scripts that you're going to need to put into SFM to make sure that you can actually import this command correctly. All right, once you've downloaded it from here, you're going to want to head to your folder again, go down to Source Filmmaker, Game, Platform, Scripts, SFM, and Anim Set. You can see I've already dropped them in here, but this is where you'd put them in. This will also be in the readme of the actual file itself. All right, now that you have that done, we're going to exit here and open up Source Filmmaker. Now we're going to create a new session right here. I prefer to make mine 60 frame rate. I'm going to press create. Make sure to press control L and then open up the map that you want it on. For me, that's CP Snake Water. All right, now that we have Snake Water open, we're going to want to hit to the plus sign on the top left and go down to create animation set for a new camera. Once you have that, click on the camera, right click, go to rig, and then hit the drop down for advanced effects, import, game record. Once you get this screen popping up, head back to your Team Fortress 2 folder, where you'll see the Lex Airshot AGR. Alright, now that this pops up, hit OK. And you'll see that a bunch of things have just been created. If you go to your work camera right here and go out a little bit, you'll see that we have our players actually playing the game here. Here's the air shot. And congratulations, you now have a demo in SFM. All right. Now there's a couple of problems that you may come across while you're starting to do this process. Number one, it's absolutely vital that you type MRV AGR enabled one into console first, or else you'll have a file that has absolutely nothing in it. This is bad because you can't open it up, obviously. Uh, perhaps there may be some time where you're opening up SFM for the first time ever, and you get a bunch of pink, pink models that show that you're missing texture files. I have a link up on the screen right now, and I will have it in the description as well, where it will show you exactly how to fix that. Finally, you may get a bunch of weird lights on a map, uh, especially custom maps that haven't been introduced into the SFM recently. And for that, you'll want to type build cube maps into the console, which you can click right here. And with this, it will type uh, build cube maps, it will crash SFM, and once you open it back up, uh, the lighting problems will be fixed. With that, I'll see you guys later. Have fun!